there's no buzz in L.A. for the Rams. Uh, you know, after this Josh Rosen game, yeah. uh, on top of USC, even though they struggled to uh, get by Western Michigan, but then they had the great story about the blind kid with the center snap. I mean, that went absolutely viral. Viral. And by the way, Incredible. I give credit also to the Western Michigan coach. He had an agreement with Clay Helton. Right. Uh, Helton had said, look, we're not going to rush your first extra point. If we have an opportunity, if the game's out of hand, obviously we're not going to bring him in if the game's, you know, a decisive game. Right. You don't want to you, – you won't rush him. And it, sure. it was a gentleman's agreement. It all played out. So, you know, <laughs> this first weekend could not have gone better for USC and UCLA. Not Both at all. of them, for different reasons, were in the news, in the spotlight, and now you're like, oh, yeah, here come the Rams and the Chargers. Yeah, if anything, How are they going to match that? They can't. They cannot simply because look how long both institutions have been there and both football programs have been there and for the most part playing at a pretty high uh, high level. Yeah, they've had down seasons or whatnot. No, having UCLA and USC do what they did this past weekend, that was bad news for the Chargers and the Rams. <laughs> Very bad news. Bad news. <laughs> I mean, you know, if UCLA had gotten blown out, you might have gotten a reprieve. But now, you know, everyone's talking about Josh Rose. And speaking of, we'll have my debut of Hartman's Heisman coming oh, up Lord, it's a little bit later again. on. It's week one where I give you an update of my one, two, three standings in the Heisman race. I was in a, a, a shoe store in, in Hollywood on Saturday afternoon, and there was a guy decked out Raider gear. So I walked up to him, introduced myself, mentioned who I do radio with. As soon as he heard Hartman, he's all, oh, yeah, Steve Hartman. Yeah, that guy. Big celeb in Los Angeles. But I asked him, I said, so – is the buzz greater for the Raiders this year than it has been in years past? He goes, well, we, there's always a buzz about them. It's bigger because they're they're good, and they're finally you know stringing some good seasons together. And I said, well, I'm from San Diego. You know, what about the Chargers? And he looked at me and he said, I got a couple buddies who are Charger fans. He goes, they're almost embarrassed to be Charger fans. And he goes, answer your question, he said, nobody, and I mean nobody up here talks about that team. You know, look, I, I my attitude about the Chargers right now, and I said this a month ago, the Chargers are, and I'll, I'll agree with Ernie, they're like any other team to me. I don't have any preference for the Chargers right now, but I am curious. How are they going to react? I mean, is this a team that some people think could be a breakout team? We're going to find out. Uh, maybe they're not. I mean, that Monday night game in Denver to open up the season to me is a very intriguing matchup. <laughs> we'll see. By the way, do you see the line on that game is only three and a half? How? Denver's only a three and a half point favorite at home. It, it's got to be because it's Trevor Simeon. That's the only thing I can think of. With that Phil defense, Phillip Rivers looked phenomenal in the preseason. Very much so. I mean, he looked great. Joey Bosa looked great. The running game didn't show a whole lot. I, I don't know what to make of the preseason. I don't know what to make of any preseason 